How you doing? John here with Wilder Home Inspections. Today we're in my own home. It's a new home to me. It's 20 years old, but it's a new home to me. Uh, it's a cold wintry day and it's very windy. Today is the perfect day to see if there's any backdrafting coming from the water heater. Let's go have a look. My basement and we're looking at my water heater. It's a 50 gallon water heater. Uh, gas is the power source there. At any rate, what we're looking at today is the venting, the ventilation. And you'll see this vent cover here is askew, right? It's not square. And then as we follow it up, okay, it goes straight up, that's good. It continues its incline, that's also good. But then it comes to this junction here where it goes into bigger pipe. I'll get the flashlight on it, right? and then goes up the flue and continues to go. Well, why does it go from the smaller to the bigger? And then if you look even closer, there are, you know, holes. And it kinda could potentially be, uh, a, you know, when you're sucking through a straw and it has a hole in the straw, right? You're not getting the proper suction. And we need to get these uh, carbon, potential carbon monoxide fumes up and out of the house. And this should go up and through the roof, okay? Well, let's start with why does it go from a smaller to a bigger one? Well, it's because this furnace used to be a part of the system. I'm guessing, actually, this is hopefully an educated guess. So this furnace used to tie into that as well, okay? But now it's a high efficiency furnace. How do I know that? Well, because now it has the PVC pipes that run now to the outside of the house. One is an exhaust and one is an intake and they go uh, to the outside there. And anyway, that's one of the surest signs that you have a high efficiency furnace is that PVC piping. Uh, and then, you know, the condensation release and the drain that comes to the drain because these high efficiency furnace definitely creates some condensation uh, throughout the process. Anyway, back to the concern or potential concern as we're looking at the water heater and we're saying, okay, you know, that's not level. So maybe it's not catching the exhaust as well. And then we have uh, the holes again up there. So how do we, how are we going to test this? Well, here's the easiest surefire way to do it is just grab yourself a lighter or a match. In this case, I have a handy dandy lighter and I'm gonna come down here with it on. I'm not going to do anything other than turn it up, okay? So it's already on, it's functioning normal and I'm going to memorize this setting and I'm just going to just turn it up. It's going to click on. Now that it kicked on, I can come up here and take the lighter and try this one handed. And as you can see, the flame is being drawn in and not out. It's not being blown out, it's being drawn in. Okay, that's from the narrow side. We'll come over to the other side. Try and get a good, okay. See, it's being sucked in versus pushed out. It may be hard to see with all the light and the lens and stuff, but visually I can see it and you would, you will too. You'll be able to see it pretty easily that instead of the flame being pushed back out, that it's being sucked in. I should add that when you're done with the test to remember to set it back to the setting that it was. There you go. All right. So I can rest easy tonight. My family can rest easy tonight. There's no backdrafting. There's no carbon monoxide getting into the house, at least not from the water heater. Um, you know, down the road when I go to replace the water heater, because it'll eventually need replaced, I may look to get some of that duct work revamped and done and, and some things down the road. But um, for now, I'm resting easy. No backdraft is happening. If you like the video, please subscribe or share. Uh, that helps me. So if you found value in it, I would appreciate your payment in the form of go ahead and, and, and gently tap on that subscribe button. So thank you. Until next time, take care. Thank you.